Uh, I decided I'm going to use this armature here for the test. For uh, actually, it's not even a test. It's for the um, the preview that I'm putting together for the fundraiser on April 4th. Um, because this wire is a little bit easier to bend and uh, therefore to animate than this stuff. Um, this the wire that I'm using is a little bit uh, more industrial grade than the traditional armature wire so when I wound it together like this it makes it incredibly hard to animate. Um, so uh, I'll probably find a use for this somehow but uh, I, I want to use this thing for the the um, the piece I'm putting together because I think it'll be uh, a little bit easier to do um, and as you can see I forgot to give him a head originally you can see that in the older videos so what I've done is I've taken uh, a, a little head uh, piece here and uh, just sort of wired it onto this spine and then glued it on in the back so this makes it a, him able to turn his head a little bit, but uh, he won't be turning his head a whole lot in this test. Um, and then I'll be able to animate that slightly also. Um, but this is not the way you want to do it. Uh, I was just sort of in a hurry and I forgot, you know, this thing needs a head. So um, because he won't be bending his torso during this piece, I'm, I'm fine with using it like this, but for the uh, final armatures, the ones that I use throughout filming the whole thing, that I'm going to need to hook the head up below this little wad of epoxy uh, putty that I have holding the arms on up here. Um, and as you can see, the little wooden blocks that I made his feet with, uh, with the bolts in the bottom for the tie downs. I drilled a little hole in there yesterday when I wasn't completely uh, destroyed <laughs> by my migraine um, and uh, glued the, uh, the wires into those holes. So they'll hold pretty firmly here. These bolts are glued in with the same epoxy that you saw. They'll hold pretty firmly. The head. Uh, That'll be pretty cool if it can uh, turn back and forth a little bit while I'm animating him. And I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, you know, it stands up on its own and it doesn't even really need to because I'll be bolting it down. So what I want to do now is I want to paint these little wooden blocks um, white. And the bottoms, I painted up to the hole where the threaded nut is, and not in there, obviously, because I don't want to mess with the threads. Um, but in case you see the bottoms of his feet, which you won't in this animation, but if I use this puppet in future animations, you might see the bottom. And uh, it just looks weird to have like a block of wood on there, you know? Um, and if you do see that, what I'll do is. Uh, when this, when whatever foot is raised to the camera where you would see this hole, I probably would cover that with either uh, a 
like a thin sheet of uh, um, clay and then scrape the clay out of the threads or probably what would be most e what would probably be easiest is to take either like a piece of paper or cardboard or plastic in the shape of this and get some sticky tack sticky tack it right to the bottom and then that way uh, when the foot is raised you would just see that sort of white flat surface you wouldn't see um, the whole but these are his feet and once they're dry uh, I'll come back in and um, start sculpting the clay on for his body pop the head on and then we're ready to go